I'm making this video to talk about some problems with brake flaring. Um, I'm not trying to repeat the, the, the things people cover in other videos, like how to do it. Um, but one problem you may come up with um, using maybe a simple tool like this is that the steel brake lines may slip through these clamps while you're trying to make a double or a bubble flare. And that's what happened to me. These these clamps just wouldn't work. I, some guys say do them hand tight. Some guys say use a wrench. No matter how I did it, they slipped. I even ground off some of the metal down here because once it locked, once it's face to face, you're not going to get it tighter in the middle. I even tried to clamp in the middle. Nothing seemed to work with that. I rented a tool from the auto store. Same problem. It wouldn't hold the tubing. I couldn't make a flare. So then. I, resort, I went to the eBay and I found this tool, a more advanced type of a design. I bought it, but I had trouble with this. Now, I know guys on YouTube use these really well, and it works just like they're supposed to. I, I couldn't get this to work that way, and I think, I think there's an earlier version and a later version or an improved version, so I don't want to talk about this too much, but... These do seem to hold the line better because it's a there's more length uh, gripping the line, and I also like the feature that these have separate dies for these are double flare, and the silvery ones are for your bubble flare. So they're they're, they're different, which I liked because um, guys do argue about you can use a double to make a bubble and all that. Anyway, I do think they hold the line better, but I had trouble using it, and I'm working with customer support. So, that brings me to this one. Now, this set, I gave it a shot, I tried it, I gave it a shot because um, even though it's the same style where it's a bar clamp, but it was advertised as a... And by the way, this is an autocraft, if you, if you really want to know the name. This was advertised as a bubble flare only. These are bubble flare dies. I like the fact that they have threads here, so it screws into the press here. It's not working with uh, the cone. The cone on the press. Which, uh, the dies will damage the end of that cone on, a, on cheaper sets. So, I, I, I gave this a shot because of that. And, um... It's got nuts here instead of wing nuts. So anyway, I tried this out, and this actually works. It held the tubing. These these are all right examples of, of it holding, of it using it. Now, when I clamp it with this, it tends to give a groove all the way around, and then it gives a long, the whole length. It's only on the side, but towards the end, it's all the way around. And you see it didn't slip. None of these slipped with that clamp. The only problem with this set is, there's another point now, when you use these bar clamps and you have the press, the press can slide left, you know, either left or right, and all directions, basically, in a plane. And these pins are really not the diameter of the tubing, so it does not guarantee you're going to get a straight symmetrical flare. Now this here is an example of the worst the worst case you can see that it's like a it's off center it's all lopsided um, so the press probably wasn't directly over the center or something else was going on and that, that's a potential problem with this but with a little practice now this one you can also see it's a little bit lopsided. I mean, at least I can see it. It's not quite. If you g try it, you have to practice. And when you look, when you're done, look at them, and you may see, hey, that's not quite centered. Now it looks, it looks pretty. It looks a little symmetrical from the top, but no, you can see it's not quite concentric. Okay, this one. I can see by looking at it, it's also not perfect, but this does look pretty concentric at the end. I'm pretty sure these would actually work if you use them. Uh, here's another case. 
it's kind of in between it's not perfectly concentric but it probably would work this was a bigger tube and this ugliness is probably because I didn't deburr it well you know but it's also a little bit sloppy out there so the point is is that this clamp holds it this one and the one from the auto store didn't hold it um, and I didn't go crazy tightening it it's like you know I gave it a normal tightening you just takes a little practice with these before you get the feel and to watch it to see that it's centered and it's going to squish straight this set probably would I have examples right here this set you can see that the, the bites in the tubing it's longer because these are bigger um, now you see this didn't make a full for some reason that didn't make a full flare I don't know why maybe I didn't have enough sticking out who knows um, same thing here this doesn't look concentric but probably I didn't clean the end up properly this one is pretty nice yeah this looks like it was a 45 flare gonna be a double flare and it's not bad and this one it's a little skinny anyway I had trouble with it I couldn't screw this on by hand you're supposed to be able to screw it on by hand when the tube is in there and then you do the tightening with wrenches between these two pieces but I whenever I put the tube in this would kind of open up at the end it wouldn't close perfectly parallel and that's where my problem was coming from but they may have improved these so I'm working with customer support like I said this one you can't do anything if you can't if the clamps don't hold the tubing this one same price it's cheap it's like seventeen dollars twenty dollars it's a, called an auto craft they also make them just for double I don't know if they work but this bubble one works and remember too that these things can mess up your cones so what I would do is um, I guess my advice is you might have to buy a couple cheap sets and maybe keep one cone just for flaring the tubing use the other cone maybe for the dies maybe try a set like this um, for the bubble I don't know or you spend more money you try to get a better set but there's no guarantee the better sets gonna solve your problem anyway I know it's a mouthful and uh, I might have repeated myself uh, sorry about that but just be aware if you think, uh-oh, this is a dead end. Nah, just try another cheap set. You might get lucky.